Good afternoon all and welcome back. We would like to welcome you to the Under-17 Nepal Urine Championships here at Gibraltar Test and TNV Sports Hall. We are very fortunate to be able to live stream from these championships thanks to JIP Media and QTV. Within the competition, there are two sections. The championship section, where we see England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. And in the Challenge Cup, where we see Switzerland, Malta, Ireland and Gibraltar. Gibraltar Nepal are very grateful to the government of Gibraltar for their encouragement and financial support. A special mention to the GSLA star. Well, just before that, uh, this match, where we'll actually see England take Wales, Gibraltar beat Switzerland. So Gibraltar are now the Challenge Cup winners, whereby Switzerland were 2015 champions. I am now joined by Natalie Pepperell, head coach of the Switzerland team. How are you? Good afternoon, Natalie. How are you? Hi. Uh, not too bad. Not great after losing, but yeah, getting there. <laughs> How are the girls as well? They're good. You know, they're, they're all quite young, so they're obviously disappointed, but we're just going to focus and learn from our errors and rebuild for next year. I think it's a bittersweet moment, especially as you both have lost to Switzerland last year, so now the reverse has happened as well. So each team getting the moment of glory a year on. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? Gibraltar did a great job out there. They were really clinical with their play. They didn't have that many errors. Um, all credit to them. They, they did outplay Ten us. Ten minutes. I must actually congratulate as well the Swiss team. That was incredible work there. I love your goal shooter. She, she's had a good few days as well, but you see the defense was so strong as well, making it extremely hard for Gibraltar. So it, at one point, I thought it couldn't be any, anyone's game. So both of them, they fought out into the last second. And when Switzerland came back fighting this, they were like, yeah, we want this as well. So it's great to see girls. They're just really young, under 17s, and they have a lot of things to focus on, but it's good to see them fight for it as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the girl's future, especially the one that everyone keeps talking about, is um, she's only 14, so we're quite lucky we've still got another couple of years of it yet. So. Yeah, that's a good thing. You have another couple of years to so keep carry on training up. But um, enough about um, the previous match, and now we have an all-important match where we see England take on Wales. And for England, we have Charlotte Curtis, Captain Ashley Decker, Sarah Everett, Ella Power, De Power Davies, Ellen Hurst, Chloe Lucy Stevenson, Alexandra Shipley, Anya Wood, Lucy Johnson, Leah Griffin, Hannah Gorman, made up of the coaching staff, coaching Jan Crabtree, assistant coach Denise Ellis, team manager Sarah Wakeman, and primary carer, Anya Carney. For Wales, we see Beth and Johnson, Captain Karis Ellen, Allen, Elise Hayward, Emily Poole, Georgia Jenkins, Jade Balderson, Macy Lane, Madeline Hannah, Millie Watts, Natalie Griffiths, Paige Murphy, and Rian Evans. Coach Beverly Power, assistant coach Rian Davies, Team manager Sharon Walters and primary care Lucy Warren. Not forgetting our umpires today, and these are Gillian Leslie from Nepal, Scotland, Nadine Bardo Samit from Gibraltar, Nepal, and the reserve umpire Danielle Coxie from Wales, Nepal. So I don't know about you, Natalie, but I'm quite excited. Um, I think England are already um, champions because they haven't lost any of their matches, but it'll be interesting to see because I think they're still fighting for the second place. Yeah, I think because Northern Ireland beat Scotland this morning, it's, it's all down to this game really to see what the scoreline is between England and Wales. Most definitely. Um, before the match starts, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Without, this, uh, without their support, this was, wouldn't be possible. So big thank you to Marble Art, Jib Telecom, Sarconian Speed for um, the water and um, Powerade, our main sponsor, Eclipse Lounge, and a special thanks to GSLA 
for the facilities here in Gibraltar. Is this your first time to Gibraltar, Natalie? It is, and it's absolutely stunning. And can I just say as well, what a great job you guys have done out here. It's been so well organized and just fantastic, and the amount of work that goes behind the scenes to put something like this on. Yes, obviously, we can't forget the, those volunteers that we see running around, and basically, they don't get to see that much netball because they are actually working hard behind the scenes. So thanks to every, everyone out there, our ball girls, our table officials as well. Um, but it's just been a fantastic few days, lovely netball. Um, and I think uh, especially good for um, the role models for other, uh, other, ch other younger children that we, s we have seen, especially on Friday. We saw loads of school kids coming over. So um, that's what we want to promote women's sports. Yeah, and there's been lots of people here today as well, sir. And, and Saturday, it was just absolutely packed when you brought play. So, yeah, brilliant. You have your fair share of supporters as well. You could hear them with a with a bell. So, and you can actually hear them on the live stream. So, <laughs> <laughs> good job. <laughs> I think just under five minutes to go. I'll just read some captain's comments for England. Ashley Dacker, she says, we are really looking forward to combining all of our hard work from the training and putting it into action Five at this minutes. year's Netball Europe Championships. For all of us, we are hoping to show our unity and commitment as a squad by coming together to represent England's under 17. For many of us, this will be our first performance on the international stage, which is an exciting opportunity to, to showcase our new talent. We are hoping to put and three great performances and retain the Nepal Europe title. I think they've already done that, but um, they've worked extremely hard over the last few days. And as for Wales, Captain Paris Allen, she says, all of the Wales under-17 management team and squad players are thrilled to be part of Nepal Europe 2016 event. The players are particularly looking forward to the chance to play in Gibraltar this year and face some tough competition. Finally, thank you. Thank you in advance to all the umpires, officials, Welsh netball staff, volunteers, sponsors, and a coaching and management. As without them, this wouldn't have been wouldn't have been this amazing opportunity. That's true as well. Obviously, you as a coach, you see things differently. You see, um, you have a lot of responsibility within the team as well. So, how hard has it been over the last few months? Um, you know, the girls kind of make it a bit easy. To be fair. It Everyone says, oh, you know, it's a really hard job, but when you work with such talented athletes, it's hardly a job. It's more like a hobby. Um, I really enjoy it. And the amount of work that goes on from other staff, obviously people see the coach and think of all the work being done by the coach, but the team manager, the physio, your assistant coaches, and then all the committee behind the scenes that organize all the stuff for training, they actually make my job quite easy. <laughs> Yesterday, when we were at the Sandbowl, we discussed this with uh, Netball Scotland, and they were saying how fortunate they are, and they probably, they always praise their team manager. That yeah. It's probably one of the toughest jobs out there as well. They have to liaise with so many people and ensure that everything's going to plan, and if it's not, they get told off as well. So, yes, not only the coaches, but the team manager. Our team manager especially is always smiling. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, very helpful. <laughs> You have to be extremely organized as well to be a team manager, so, yes. I've got an interesting fact, actually, on Wales' captain, Karis Allen, who is starting it today. Um, she actually represented Wales at basketball in under-16 and under-18 competitions from 2012 to 2015, so... Yes, I spoke to her yesterday. Talented. I spoke to her yesterday and I was like, I think I've seen you uh, before. It's not your first time here in the board, and she actually seconds. mentioned that you've been play, playing basketball, obviously, because <laughs> that was last year, so, yes. I think last final comments there by the coaches before the first seven are called on. Netball Europe and Gibraltar Netball would like to welcome you all to the last day of the 2016 Under-17 European Championships. The last match today being between Wales and England. Would you please welcome onto the court Wales goal shooter Jay Balderson. Goal attack, Rian Evans. 
Wing attack, Bethan Johnson. Center, Elise Hayward. Wing defense, Paige Murphy. Goal defense, Madeline Hannah. Goalkeeper, Paris Allen. And now an equally warm welcome to England goal shooter, Lucy Stevenson. Goal attack, Lair Griffin. Wing attack, Ashley Decker. Centre, Hannah Gorman. Wing defence, Sarah Everett. Goal defence, Charlotte Curtis. Goalkeeper, Anya Woods. The umpires for this game are Gillian Leslie and Nadine Bardozamit. The third official is Daniel Proxy. Thank you and good luck so to both teams. So it seems like a whale centre. Good luck to both teams. I think the pressure's on for Wales, obviously. Um, yeah, you can see straight away that there's a strong England defence all jumping the line to try and stop that centre pass from going forward and forcing it back, which is good early pressure, nice to see. Good hands there by England's wing defence. Nice easy shot in it. It's nice to see them playing close to post. They just make it look so easy, don't they? It's just the transition is so smooth. Welsh centre, so hopefully they can convert it into a goal. But look how tough England are making it for. Yeah, good drive through by the wing attack to get through that three players. They just need to get some more width, really. England at the moment seems they need to, be... to Yeah, they need to open up their game. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy Stevenson there doing a really good job on the front hold as the goal shooter. So it's four for England and only two minutes have gone by. Well, the attack was out of court. You can see the difference how England open up their game as they come coming down the court and Wales are losing just one channel yeah and timing of their moves as well you can almost count the one two three different offers that they have coming through court it's not easy for England they've had two other matches and then probably the toughest one against England on the last day as well yeah I don't know when's a good time to face them but definitely be more helpful if they're a bit fresh but I mean they're still putting a lot of pressure on their arms over the ball that Wales do is really good and they're really trying to put off those passes they've just got to run on the ball now center she is but you can see now how they're all so close together making it difficult for the players to feed the ball into the circle well for all of you watching you can hear them supporting 
family supporting up in the stands. A nice feed into the circle. Good pressure there by goalkeeper. Sands is working extremely hard trying to ask for the return pass as well. Nice ball. See, that's really what they need to do. That was nice by the goal attack. Just drive through court. Create that option. Yeah, get those options. Come in from in front, from in front of the ball. Defence obviously for contact or the, was the other way around. First attempt for Wales. Good shot. It's a good shot under pressure as well for a shooter when you're down so, straight away and you've got that pressure on you to actually sink the goal because it's one of the first times it's been in. It's great to see that she's composed. Pops That's what down. you need. Focus, don't you? Yeah. from England. And nice hands there by where is goal defence Paige Murphy. England's attack making the um, Wales defence work extremely hard. Great work there by the captain for Wales. Just under eight minutes to go. England nine, Wales one. Goal attack seems to be doing a lot of work for Wales in that end third. <laughs> Unlucky there. They just need to be patient. Just so fast through court for England, straight down the middle, straight to shoot. Difficult it's time, a difficult time to keep up with them as well. So they just. Defensive centre there for Wales. Yeah, that's really open the, up the front space for them because if England are jumping the line, then the back space is there for the, the wing attack and the goal attack if it lands with you back defender. So I'd like to see them using more of that.
It was good work by Beth and Johnson holding her space on the circle edge, just to provide that option from the back line. That's what they need, they need to be patient and just work on uh, options like that. Yeah, and she's proven that when they get the ball into the circle, Jay Balderson is going to shoot them and she's going to score. defensive centre. Seems to work, but let's see how quickly Engl England pick up on that and obviously put some pressure on, their wing on the wing defence. England just doing a really good job of keeping the mid-court off the circle edge and forcing them onto that transverse line and we just seem to be getting a bit stuck there, Wales. It's a lovely ball in. Lucy Stevenson as well, proving why she's on at goal shoot and not missing. Five minutes to go. Good hands there by England's win defence. Great pass there by Leah Griffin. Wow, well, great pass in. Great vision into the circle. Lovely finish. Again, when that ball goes back, it just opens up that space for them. It's working for them for the time being. can hear Anya Wood for England commanding that circle. Great challenge for the rebound there yeah. by Wales. Good contesting there. Defend them with their arms. Making it extremely difficult for Wales. It's just a line of three England defenders. And they turned over the ball. Good draw there by Leia, opening up the backspace there for Lucy. The shooters are working very well together. It's difficult at times to try and get those, uh, as a defender, to try and intercept that ball coming into the circle. Yeah, I think um, Karis and Madeline just needs to keep their feet moving and not get stuck on the attacker so that they can confuse the space a bit, try and force a, a poor feed into the circle. You just then... need to be on your feet all the time because if you're stuck to the ground then it's difficult for you to get going. Just over a minute and a half in the first quarter. Great pressure there by Wales. That was a really good shutdown by the, the Welsh wing defence and the Welsh centre. Wow, what a shot. It's a bit hesitant at first, but then... Knew a few seconds were coming up and she 
went for it. Oh, good hassle there. Again, the Welsh just needs to get down court. They're forcing those passes. Just under 15 seconds left of the first quarter. I wonder if they can see the clock. I'm sure the crowd will let them know. There's a countdown. <laughs> oh, unlucky. It was such a great ball in as well, just out of time. So in a coaching point of view, what would you do now? For which team? Wales or England? Both of them, just... <laughs> Um, to be fair, for, for Wales, I'd probably ask them to give the ball a bit quicker. I think sometimes it is on, but England are doing a really good job of confusing the space yeah. a bit, so they seem a bit hesitant and a bit nervous. I'd say probably play with a bit more confidence. Um, and for England, wow, what position to be in. Although, to be fair, I know how clinical and how um, much they want from their team, so they'll certainly have goals that they'll have set.